Frame number two with cold water bowling, this time the ladies in the spotlight, Rick Harding still with me, as well as Lauren Wenning, senior averaging 168.5, eighth in the conference, and then Amanda Melhouse, senior as well, averaging 160.1. Girls made it all the way to the state finals last year, and that's always a goal for cold water bowling. That's the start of the season. Uh, conference is a big thing, but the goal is uh, to get stronger at the end of the year and get to back to Columbus. That's the, the most exciting part of the year. That's what we work, we work for. And, Last year finishing second, these girls were on the team, so the pressure's on them now to step up and do what the girls did in the past. Does that motivate you? You, you know what it feels like down there Definitely, to get back, Lauren? Of course. Yep. <laughs> take, take us through the tournament draw last year and, and what that oh was gosh. like each week and, and how that felt to be down at the state again. It was just more pressure each week. It just kept piling on. And state is a completely different kind of feel to it. It feels like you're in a, your own kind of movie when you're there. <laughs> it's crazy. Amanda, would you agree? I completely agree. Completely different experience, but it's a great one. You certainly get prepared very well in the WOHSBC. Great bowling around here. Does that get you ready for the postseason? Uh, yes, it does. Um, most definitely. Yeah. Lauren, you've had a great season so far. Uh, undefeated in the league again. What's been some of the highlights, some of the, the good matches for you guys? Um, Versailles was definitely a tough one. Um, we definitely came back strong and ended up defeating them. So that was... A really big win in my in my books. Couple more league matches coming up to, to finish out the season. Try and finish undefeated for the girls once again. Yeah, we got a couple more matches in a couple of weeks, and then we're going to try to do at the end of the season do a kind of like an unofficial MAC conference tournament. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's uh, kind of exciting to finish the year off. That's the week before sectionals. So okay, uh, looking forward to that. But we got a couple weeks to go. A couple of makeups due to last week's weather. Yeah. Uh, a couple of makeups to get in there, and uh, we're going to try our best to get them all in. So hopefully that works out. Winter sports. I mean, we know the weather's yeah. going to be an issue. Was this year different than past years because of the cold temperatures nice? Yeah, cold temperatures, snow. Um, the, our sport is just hard to make up because you got to make them up now and during the week. And, you know, the bowling centers have leagues. So you got to try to get to some centers that don't have leagues certain nights and try to get all the varsity teams in. We probably will make up some JV matches. But, uh, yeah, definitely it's a hard when uh, sometimes we have an easy winter and sometimes not so easy. And it sounds like it's going to get really cold. So we hopefully it all works out. Will this be the first year for the MAC tournament? Uh, yes, it's an unofficial MAC tournament. Unofficial, so the MAC of course. Has, the MAC hasn't taken us on. Right. Uh, we're hoping in the future that they will consider it, you know, the ADs and the principals and the superintendents. So uh, we kind of threw together a non-unofficial uh, MAC tournament, conference tournament. So we're going to have an unofficial MAC champion as well this year. I'm excited for that, to, to go bowl against all MAC bowlers in one tournament? Yeah. Super. What, what's the, is, is there rivalries amongst the MAC schools in bowling, or is it more camaraderie? What would you say? Um, I would say there's a few rivalry, rivalries between us and like Verzales, yeah. for sure. And but other than that, not really. <laughs> Bowling's a pretty supportive sport. You support one another. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. And you, of course, have done this for years. What's it like to see? bowling what it is in this area oh yeah uh, i mean we remember when it wasn't even an ohsa sanctioned sport yeah 2007 they started that so it, it continues to grow uh, a couple conferences have kind of you know split up and changed a lot of things mm -hmm. uh, i see some more changes coming in the future but as long as you know it stays strong and the uh, the numbers are good i mean we got a really good youth program we got some uh, good junior high pro bowlers coming up and our junior varsity are working really hard so our numbers are good and i think everybody else's are too and it's exciting as me being in the business as a bowling center, a proprietor and owner, yeah. um, and the future is bright. So, All right, Coldwater Bowling, big one coming up tomorrow. New Bremen on the docket for the guys and the ladies at Salinas Plaza Lanes. Thanks for stopping by. Patrick has more. Sports Report rolls on.